Hello everybody. Today I am visiting with my son what probably is the most empty dealership lot I have ever seen. So now they do have a gate. So I had to park, you know, by the gate. It does have stop and it does have the, uh, a sign that says video surveillance, uh, like in progress, something like that. But <laughs> I am not exactly sure what exactly are they protecting here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I have never seen a dealership this this huge. First of all, this lot is huge. Look at this, and it goes that way. That's probably like their service lot. They have a huge flag, and this is just so happens to be flag Chevrolet. So I don't know if flag is like their um, like their name, like their last name, like Grossinger or what you might call it, or Bob Rorman. But wow. Now, I am I am amazed. Now it's a Chevy. I wouldn't be my, uh, you know, my first choice. Okay, all right. He's pulling on the door handle like father, like son. Yeah. So I had to tell him not to pull on door handles because the last thing I want is, <laughs> is you know, you know who to show up. So they do have a few vehicles, but man, this is nothing. And I just can't get over the fact that this lot, look, it goes all the way down there. And they have few Jeeps. They have few Fords. <laughs> what is this? They have a Subaru Forester. Yay. But, oh, they got a, a Buick over there. But yeah, this is, this is probably the most empty dealership I've ever seen. Now, let's see. Do they have prices on some of these things? Because I can't imagine them being... Yeah, they don't have pricing. I was just wondering. And look, look at this guy. He really wants to get in. Now, in all honesty, I did used to go with him on my runs, and I filmed a few things before. But... Yeah. Yeah, so I so okay. Okay. Alright, well here here we go. Well here we here we go. Yeah, that's okay, that's not alright. Well, I think it's too late. So let's just quickly look at this and let's get the hell out of here. So anyway, this is a 2017 GLE. Yeah, and I have to tell him not to step on the seats. But man. Well, I guess this is kind of nice. So, all right, let me get him out of here. All right, note to self, do not film with your five and a half year old son. Uh, well, yeah, this Buick is kind of nice. Wasn't even sure what I was uh, looking to find here, but it looks like they've um, aligned everything up here. So when you're driving on this main road, at least it has a, a, a feel or, or like a look of uh it has a look that the dealership is full of cars. All right. Well, let's see. Pickups, pickups, pickups. I guess these Colorado are, are not are not too good. Oh, I'm surprised they actually have a Ranger, a new Ranger. Well, it's probably not new. Yeah, 2019. Okay, 2019 Ranger. Okay. Let me see. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's he inherited the gene. The Vitaly Kaufman gene that uh, makes them want to go inside these cars. But look at this. They have almost as many Rangers as they have... Actually, they have as many Fords as they have Chevys. Okay. Well, now we can see that shortage of cars is real. <laughs> well, at least he's having a blast. All right, well, we're going to be heading heading back to my own car because, yeah, I don't know what else to uh, to show you here. So, yeah, nothing, nothing really that I would be, like, interested in, you know, nothing old. So, you know me, I'm more into the older cars. 
that Mercedes that just so happens to be on lock, that's not my thing. And uh, I can, can't get enough of this empty lot. So I guess at the highest point, they probably used to be, you know, at least three quarters full. Oh, wow. And it, it even goes further that way. Holy moly. Wow. They must be having a blast here. Like some of the employees, um, when they have nothing to do, they can probably drag race in here. <laughs> Well, you know what? It is kind of getting cold because I, I did want to go back there and look at some of their service cars, but it doesn't look like there's anything in there and it looks like we can drive down there. So that's what we're going to do. Yep, there you go. All right, let's get back to the car. All right, well, this is how the best car on the lot that wasn't allowed in. See, look at this. They have they have a gate, which obviously I... I didn't want to climb over or under, so I actually walked over there, but we are getting out. We are getting out through the grass, and then they have this for guys like me. And it does look like somebody did try to get out at least one point because it's bent to hell. Like, this side is fine, but that side is all bent. Yeah, and this is how the best car in the lot looks. Well, it's kind of in the lot. See, it's kind of in, a, in an abandoned kind of... Well, I shouldn't say abandoned because, you know, I am filming this on the 26th of December. So everybody's still high on eggnog or something. All right. Well, let's see if we can get in there and with a car and see if, uh, if that place is unlocked. Okay. So we're moving further down. Let me get my zoom on. Yeah. So I still can't get over the fact how empty it is. And we are going to be going through the service portion it does look like they have a gate right there as well Ooh. so let's see so what do they have they have an older cadillac okay so i guess that's the one thing that i would be kind of sort of interested in uh let's see and that's it yeah we got a school bus so they got they got a few trucks they got an equinox yeah okay Looks like they have some sort of a car transport part there. All right, so technically speaking, <laughs> so that was hilarious. I had to stop because a police car, like it was right there. Uh, like it was pulling out of a, of a different parking lot. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm filming and I'm almost pointing a, a camera at the police car that was pulling out of that parking lot. So you see, it's good that we left as, as early as we did because there's a very good chance that if that police officer saw me, well, even with a kid, like roaming around an empty dealership lot, it would have probably at least pulled up to me. Yeah, so you see the police guy went that way. And yeah, so they would have at least uh, stopped and asked me a few questions like, what are you doing here? why are you filming or why are you at this dealership where the gates are clearly closed and locked and and there's nothing for you to do here it's sunday they are closed there's no sales there's no service <laughs> see that kind of proves the fact that my older style of filming where i would just go into the dealership disregard every law and rule and regulation and <laughs> just film so besides the fact you could have probably gave me a ticket for holding the phone yeah Wow, so you see, there, there's that police officer again. So what, did they, did they just climb the grass? I'm confused. Or maybe they just went through here. All right, well, in any case, I think I need to leave. <laughs> so, yeah, good. I got out just in time because I, yeah, so he probably got in through the grass. Yep, and there's the police officer right there. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. So, good. All right, perfect timing. My timing could not be more perfect today. So he would have probably gave me a ticket for, uh, you know, holding the phone and filming and this and that. And the fact that I had a kid with me probably wouldn't, wouldn't have fixed anything. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time.